Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Lighting Your Sunshine, where we like to shine a light within and empower ourselves. So for today's reading, um, I think it's going to be quite the doozy, but um, <laughs> so yeah, as I was kind of getting all the, the next readings together, organizing the cards, um, I was putting the old ones away. And as I was putting the old ones away, I really wanted to use like the two readings and combine them together. So today I wanted to use the Hidden Worlds card, the Oracle of the Unicorns, and then the Sacred Reading cards. And I thought that was really perfect because there's been a lot of unicorns and like stag energy coming through. And so I feel like that there's a very powerful or significance of that to come. I haven't really picked up on it yet. And so as I was just kind of organizing, I didn't even plan to kind of come and sit down yet, but I went and I found the, the, this. <laughs> and so, um, yeah, I love polar bears. So my friend bought me this bag and I thought it was the perfect bag to hold these cards, which I haven't used on the channel. Um, so my friend, she had them the first time I used them and I thought that they were the most freaky accurate, like they were like weird. I, I had such a profound reading from them that I was like, I really want these cards. And, and I tried to find them, but they, they were no longer in print. They didn't exist anymore. And so after like, like I'm saying like 10 years or like even longer searching, I finally got them. And so once I got them, I haven't actually really used them. I've just been sitting on them and they really want to come out for the reading because sometimes the images are intense on these. And so I don't, I don't remember what these are actually called. I just call them my German dream cards. But um, yeah, it doesn't say. It's like, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I found the image like dreams, especially in the subconscious state. I don't know. Sometimes the images disturb me. So I don't use them too, too much. But like, I don't know. Here's one. And this is like a pretty basic one. It's like there's pictures here, here, like there's everywhere to like look and it's for you to like navigate and each picture kind of means something different. So I pulled these cards um, and I'll just show you what I kind of got. Cause I, that's where I was like, ooh, this is gonna be a doozy because I was just not planning on a reading, but this is coming out. So this was the first view that I saw. And so instantly as I was viewing it, um, it brought me to the purple and, and it's almost like bluish purplish. It, it matched up into like the theme of the readings. Um, it was just like a confirmation. And so that big wave, especially with like all these disasters and bombs and doom and all these things on it, it kind of took me on like a timeline or a story of past lives. It like showed a soul and, and the main one that kind of came through was Pompeii. Like just having like being out and about in your day and then all of a sudden disaster happening and then next thing you know you're in the next life and and it's like because that disaster happened so quickly they didn't really get to deal with some stuff so then the karma going to the next life to the next life to the next life is kind of what it was showing and so it just seems to be this repetitive disaster they say and then so the next card i pulled was um this one and, and it really brought me to, it was mostly um, this one, this guy pushing and the gamble. And, and the next thing I saw was this one where the guy's falling off the building. And then spirit came in so, so like a whoosh. And then I just started like channeling and getting more messages. But the main message was like, um, it showed like past lives up into this current life. And then it showed in this current life um, that a murder had taken situation, uh, <laughs> uh, had taken place. And even I feel a little bit uncomfortable in, in this reading for some reason, but that's okay. Um, I, I, they showed me that a murder had taken place and that it, it was made to appear to be an accident that um, this person just kind of went off and and they were just never seen or lost or something like missing person or something. But what I'm being told is that someone actually pushed them 
that it is a murder um, and it was planned and kind of like premeditated or something like that. I watch a lot of crime shows. So uh, let's just see. They were pushed and it also, oh yeah. And so then the next card that kind of came through was this one. It was in reverse. So it was that golden bridge. And so that's when the soul kind of came into the reading. And it's like, um, it didn't quite cross the bridge peacefully. And, and now here we have like, down here we've got cards. We've kind of got like an elderly lady. It kind of gives me like, especially down here, was like tarot and like um, mediums. And like there's that bridge to spirit. And then over here, there's a snake biting the hand. And and what Spirit was saying is like, you, you've been getting intuitive synchronicities or you've been kind of getting signs or um, something from the spirit realm. And, and in it, it was saying that whoever it was that did the crime, like did the pushing, I feel like that they're in, in whoever this reading is for, that they're kind of in your life. They're like in the background. And they're one of those people who like, subtly help you influence your decisions they're the ones that is like oh like i think it might be best to do this or i think it's maybe we shouldn't look into this right it'll just cause like all of us to grieve longer and like it's just like something trying to push it sweep it quick um and so i feel like you're getting these intuitive nudges or maybe you're getting i don't know i feel like because this soul did kind of come into the reading and and they're kind of talking and so it's like things are being unearthed or brought up um that no one should know and and so that was the thing it said i saw you taking a gamble right going back to this dice and it said i saw you taking a gamble and then new evidence is going to come up so i feel like spirituality or something to do with like mediumship and like talking to ghosts or something um, do I think like you need to go and like talk to someone with a Ouija board? Like, no, that's, that's not what I'm kind of getting. I'm getting that this is like you. Also, when it comes to Ouija boards, I always say like, use that very lightly with discerning, <laughs> discernment. You really don't know what kind of energies you welcome and bring into your space. Be careful if you're going to play with stuff like that. Be knowledgeable about what you do. I don't fuck with that stuff. <laughs> but I'm not you and you're not me. Um, but anyways, I keep getting that this soul is trying to like get a message about its murder. And so it's coming up in signs and synchronicities and either you're picking up on it or a medium or someone is picking up on it. And someone is like knowing that these are truth or facts or things that they don't want to come to light, but, um, trying to be like, Oh, um, this spirituality is evil. You like, you know, like that, that Ouija board, you don't know what you're going to bring into the house. Like, and so I see someone like shutting it down, shutting the answers down. Um, it, but then I see this soul, like communicating through so many different mediums and realms and things like that, that it's like overwhelming. So that's, that's the energy that wants to come through. It was like this soul who, who was pushed. I almost see, I, I do see a lot more of a mountain scene. I see like a mountain or woods or, well, I guess like, yeah, could be just a really big hill, but I do see like nature has to do with it. And um, at one point it was like, um, look for the part that's like buried up, like the unearthed part. Um, the part that like, you know, everything, if it had just been like left to its own, defenses it would have grown at this rate but now there's this this weird mount, mound or something uh I don't know that's what I saw so now I, I kind of get actually that this is the masculine aspect and this is like the feminine the unicorn and then the stag and then hidden realms makes me think of like passed over spirits so uh <laughs> Let's, let's start with what's hidden. What, what's hidden that's coming to light? Uh, 
I was just kind of like still trying to figure out like what's up with the, the unicorn and the stag. And uh, it's funny because I saw it as like, that's the one, I that's the two, I guess. I saw it as like the stag was more of like the spirit realm. And then the unicorn was more of the 3D. And then, and then like all of a sudden they like came, it was like, and then it was like, but that doesn't make sense because um, in real life you'll see deers and you won't see a unicorn in real life. The unicorn should be the one navigating the spirit realm and, and then the deer should be the one helping you through your day to day. So I feel like something like that. I don't know. I still feel like the unicorn's helping you with the day to day and then the other one's the opposite, but that's just a little thing, conversation. Both energies came straight up and was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Anyways. So these two are both in reverse. So we have the tree of souls. It says collective wisdom, kinship group, and library. And then the next one to come out is the crystal path. And it says mineral spirits, crystal beings. So this crystal path would have led to the tree of souls. Um, and I, and I think that, that that's what, oh, it showed. The Tree of Souls is like almost like the Akashic Records. And, and it talked earlier about like how this one card was many souls. It was many lives. It started off with Pompeii. And because everything was like normal one minute and then all of a sudden switched. And next thing you know, like tsunamis and volcanoes and ash and fires and what the hell. Like it was just 10 minutes ago this way. And so because it was such a, a big shift and a shock and, and almost instant, um, that's what I see as like this repetitive loop or karmic pattern. Um, and so it just seems almost like for this one soul and this one story, that's, that's their story is like each time they seem to pass, it's almost like quick and ending like, um, Right on this one, it seemed like they felt, I'm sorry, this is like sensitive matter to some people, but I'm just, I'm just going to share what I, I see. I wish I could talk about only the unicorns and rainbow part of it sometimes, but like this one, they were on a plane crash. This one, uh, they fell from really fall high heights. Um, it just, it seems like there was an explosion at this or something. It just seems like a freak accident of something that happens over and over and over um, each lifetime. And so in this lifetime, it's almost like, uh, I think that's why the spirits are here. And it's like this soul is like around because, because it doesn't want to continue it, the cycle. Once a soul passes, they can still learn afterwards. Um, they can still learn and grow and then make changes still for the next lifetime. So this collective tree of souls, collective wisdom it's like it's not learning the lesson it's not it hasn't really gone on to the the next stage the next phase and it, it's like a karmic cycle a karmic loop um it's like builds it up and then it goes and then up and then it's like all this energy that all this momentum of growth rather than like succeeding kind of thing it just seems to be a waste so Let's do some more cards. This ones are the spirit ones. I think, yeah, spirit ones. So on the spirit side, we got ascended masters in reverse. And that's kind of what it wants. It like it really wants to learn this lesson, this soul. Um, we got light codes in reverse, and then last we have spiritual evolution with set your heart free. So there it is, ascended masters in reverse. We got light codes in reverse so that is the light the lesson and then over here we have the spiritual evolution so what is it actually saying saying 
It says create open communication. And that's what this soul kind of is doing. This soul is like, hey, guess what? It just keeps happening and happening and happening. So this time I almost see that it's like it's like fighting from beyond the, the other side. It's like, I'm tired of this. I really want, it's not like it wants vengeance. It wants mm, justice. And um, yeah, because a lot of this has happened because of jealousy. And so I do see them kind of coming back in spirit and like trying to leave signs. And like this time it's like, I really want the, cause this one it seems like in the past where it was like Pompeii and things like that, you couldn't really go back and get this, the, the justice of that. Right. Because it's like collectively energies built up and release happened and shift happens. But then it, the next one, like the plane crash, well, they couldn't really stop that. The other one, like, and, and the, so this one, this one is a, it seems to be pre-planned. It seems like it was at the fate of someone else's hands this time, even though they're still kind of stuck in that loop. Um, this one, this one is worthy of justice. It's like this one shouldn't have happened. This soul should have been allowed to finally go over that bridge or like, well, Yes and no. Um, in the in the go in the passing away state, it finally should have been allowed this time for this soul to like learn this lesson, to to rest from this lesson, and finally pass the bridge, so that it could um, ascend. But it was taken away too early again, and it's like no, I know I learned the previous lessons, like and so that's why I see it coming in the forms of like spirituality or maybe coming through a medium kind of energy. And like signs and synchronicities, it's like, I'm not going to let this one. And so I, I feel like someone is telling you, like, don't trust yourself. Um, but you're, this, this could even be you. You're getting this information. You're getting this intuitive knock, right? There's the soul knocking at the door. It's like, hey, I, I really want to do all this work. But someone's telling you, don't trust this. Like, just, just let it go. Like, maybe it's just... And, and I feel like it's number one thing kept being said is like, um, it's not even like changing you from it. It's like saying like, well, you know, we've all healed from this. And if you open up this door again, like all of us are going to hurt. And so you don't want to hurt so many other people, but you're hurting, but you're also getting this intuitive knock and this, I don't know. I feel like it says create open communication, like open. I would, I, I strongly feel spirit urging you to open that door of communication because again this isn't it, it's it's not fair it wasn't right especially when it seems like i feel like things were trying to be hidden and so that is going to come to light and and i feel like once that comes up to light again it's really going to empower you to like help find that that balance and that justice but um and it's also going to set your heart free, right? This spiritual evolution, I feel like the soul really wants out of this karmic loop and cycle, but it's also like you're kind of trapped in it as well. So it's like two, two are freeing themselves. And that's why it's spiritually allowed, right? In the past times, it's like you didn't learn your lesson in this, this phase, um, it just is what it is, right? It was a natural disaster. But in this one, the, the alignments and the consequences are like redeemable. This soul feels redeemable. They, they, they have this passion or this purpose. It's to set their soul free and to set your heart free is what I see on the line. So then the next unicorn cards to come out. And you know what? I kind of get like... Especially when it comes to like dealing with souls, I, okay, so I'll, I'll share a story. Once upon a time, I went to this place and it was a new place. I've never been to this place. I always get nervous going to new places, um, mainly because I stress about parking situations. I don't like parking. If you drive me there, I'll probably go. But if I have to go there and figure out parking, I, for some reason, I feel like I'm going to be overwhelmed or bombarded or I'm going to run over someone or cause an accident, I, I just might not even go. <laughs> and so that's why I, I had all this energy and I was just like high strung and I was like, that's how I was feeling. And someone else drove me. 
And so the fact that I even had that energy at that time, I was like, this is weird because I didn't have to go drive to a new parking lot. So anyways, I had this weird energy. And then I found out that um, the person who, who used to frequent there had um, been murdered the, the previous day before I went. And so I was actually picking up on the soul. The soul is like, hey, you have the ability to discern energy and I know that you can feel me and you're aware of me. And so um, at that point, I, well, that's freaking freaky, right? Because they come to you with like some images or things that you don't really want to see or know. Um, but this soul is just so excited because it's like, hey, you can hear me, you can, you know. And so at that time, I tried so hard to force it. I tried to like find, I thought, am I supposed to share a message? Am I supposed to do something? And it just didn't work out. Universe didn't have it happen. And like the soul itself was trapped there. I helped, I helped the energy release. And, um, now when I go there, the soul does come back, but only to like talk to me. It's like there every single time I'm there, it's like, Hey, you're still there. And then it's just like, so I don't, I don't know if it's quite trapped or if it just is like, it sees it's, we, we built that connection that at that time, it's easier to hear their energy. So anyways, that's what I'm seeing is like you, you kind of picking up on these energies as well. And so it is, it is nervous. It makes you nervous at the beginning. Um, but I feel like if you're allowed to see them or hear them, there's, there's always like a positive aspect to it, right? Like, I feel like hope, hope is so important. And, and this is all about like setting your heart free too. Um, maybe seeing, I feel like, cause I don't know if you are actually associated to this. I don't know if you know this soul or if it's like the instance where I was, I just, randomly went to one place one time and our energies kind of brought us to be attached for that kind of thing and uh I learned a lot from them but yeah I don't know if you're just like picking up on something but I'm getting that you need to trust your inkling so the words that came out with the oracle of the unicorn is nature it says ground yourself Find a sanctuary in nature. Connect with the elements. We've got compassion. With be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light in yourself and others. And then gentleness. And that orange is this bridge. This is future energy. Um... It says, be kind to yourself and others, honor your gentleness, speak words of love. Um, mainly what I get from these cards is like, I, I, I do see you as like out in nature. Uh, this soul keeps talking about how they're in nature. I feel like there's really like a mountain scene or trees or something to do that. And there'll be like a, a clearing or just like a, this big pile of dirt or mound or something like that. It's like cut down trees or a pile of dirt or something that just doesn't make sense. It kind of draws your eye to that. It's like kind of in that area. But um, I do see you being connected to, to nature. And because you are so one with nature, this is why you can discern the different levels of energy. And that's why they come to you. So it's saying like really ground yourself and keep going to nature. Because I do see like when you go to other places that are like buildings or people's energy, that those those can kind of lodge into your aura and, and kind of like, uh, I almost see like you get caught up in this constant, ah, um, because let's say if you do kind of pick up on spirits and, and that, that's what this, this, this compassion and this gentleness, um, lands on the crystal path to the tree of souls. It's like these, these energies are so excited that you can actually see them. 
um, and pick up on them because they've been just like bumming around and not many people are actually consciously aware to kind of tap into that. Um, you're a very sensitive soul, sensitive heart. And I feel like um, maybe these dense energies kind of latch on and you get overwhelmed. And so there, there's a need to be like, like the one I only, I only really pick up on it when I go to that spot and, and just for brief, I don't let them bug me the whole time. Um, but it's like, they get so excited that they can like share their story. Um, sometimes I even hear that just by sharing their story with you is enough for them to finally just like pass over or transition to the light. And so here we had light codes. And that's what I kind of see in this story or this energy is someone that really helps um, souls get out of karmic patterns or loops. It helps them transition to, to the beyond, to the mystery. And, and it seems like this, this big ball of like light, right? There's that, this and this are the same. So the mineral spirits, crystal beings, which is you turn to, you turn, you're like liquid crystal. You turn into like light kind of, it's just, I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> it's like in that, um, it's almost like a dream state or imagination or in the past the veil. I don't know. It's like liquidy or something, liquid gold. And so that's it. I see like most of them just being happy enough that they share their story with you. So you do need a little bit of boundaries to let them know like, hey, I can talk to you at this moment, but right now I'm overwhelmed and you've got to go, you know, um, because this one is kind of showing me being stuck in the crown chakra and that crown constantly um, being stuck in the astral realms more so and not quite as present here. And, and, and the more and more you're ungrounded, uh, the more and more this this fear card picks up and so the crown chakra you can pick up on all the records or the energetic codes and downloads or you can also pick up on the fear because it could be too much so spirit i feel like that's a good read am i really missing anything i feel oh something to do with this compassion be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. See the light within yourself and others. Forgiveness within yourself. And so it's bringing me back to this murder or this being pushed energy. Um, because like whatever this one is, like the soul that did come to me, the one that I see, it's almost like one of the people who like know all the details is almost like somebody close. Or they're like really close within the circle or outside the circle so close that they can observe what's going on and it's like they they kind of subtly influence things and so that's why it's saying like have compassion i feel like they they keep trying to make it so that you brush over the hurt in your heart they're the, it's just like oh like we've we've, we've all kind of dealt with that like we don't we, you know it's like that energy like avoid it avoid it and, um, and so I, f I feel like when you kind of start to get the evidence and those kind of things and you put the connection to that person, um, spirit saying like, we really want you to have a free heart, um, because we don't want you to get caught up in this cycle of repeating the same life over and over and over again. We're like this one soul, this one soul kept having it cut short, cut short. And it's like, um, it was like a soul lesson for them to learn. But for you, it's almost like having something taken from you. And, and we don't want that to always be your story, that something will be taken from you. So we really need you to heal. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free. Because I do feel like the main thing had to do with trying to convince you otherwise that something to do, I feel like spirituality, something to do with your heart. Your heart's pulling you to something and someone is trying so hard. See, look at this little compassion one. When I see the horse, there's like this little white gold heart and it's like the um, spirituality, the soul talking through you. It's like, um, 
a mix of this. It's a mix it, like the, the silver and gold. And this one is spiritual evolution. A spiritual evolution is stepping into the light codes and ascending and getting out of it. It says create open communication. And so your heart needs to talk. And, and so I, okay, I have full storage. So let's just wrap this up. Pretty much to sum up this story is I, it's kind of like two people I see. I either see someone is being a medium and that's them there. And they're kind of, they're picking up on these souls and these souls come to them and they let them know that, you know, how they died. It, it's like pretty much they just want to share their story because by getting their story out, it helps them let go and evolve. It helps them break out of karmic cycles and loops. And so I either see someone who needs to get the message that this is for a past over loved one and their past over loved ones trying to say, hey, this is, this is what I want to share. Or else this is for someone who is a medium, who is picking up on the messages and doubting themselves and, and being like, it's either too overwhelming, either A, they doubt themselves that they don't have open, honest communication like this card says, or they're getting too much communication and they really need to find that balance and ground it. They really need to, um, nature, nature will be so important for whoever this is. Actually in both cases, I feel like nature and grounding yourself, um, because I feel like the mind, like this soul has been busy. This soul's like knocking on everyone. Like, Hey, I got, I got some information to share. I'm still, I'm still here. I would like to tell you a little bit about my story and how life exists after life. Because I really want to end the karmic pattern and cycle. Um, in the past, they tried so hard to, and that's why I feel like on this, in, in the message I'm getting about this soul, is like because they've been on this karmic cycle, but an abrupt ending, it's like this time they worked so hard to like fix the wrongs of the past lives that it seems like they always had a chip on their shoulder. Um, it's like they, they always had like this heavy heart with this compassion. And so this time, this time it's like they took things, it's almost like there was such a serious soul on some, some circumstances. They took things so heavy. And you kept being like, it's just like, I don't know, we're just going on a picnic. Like, what's the worst? And they, they I don't know, they still, everything was so heavy, they said. But it's because they wanted to do the right thing this time. And they did the right thing. And for them to actually have it taken away this time is um, a very unjust thing. Um, and I feel like there's a little bit of anger coming through. And that's why it's saying there's a need to have compassion um, be gentle and forgiveness because I feel like this anger, I'm not telling you to avoid this anger, but, um, to listen to what the anger is saying. Cause I feel like this soul's angry. That's why they're knocking on everyone. Hey, Hey, I really want, I want my justice. Justice seems to be the main thing for this soul and, and peace of mind and heart for the family. And then uh, for the medium, uh, peace of mind and heart. I feel like the heart's already getting it. It's the mind. It seems like peace of heart for the family, peace of mind for the medium, and peace of soul for the for the soul that's trying to get this message through. Uh, because there is this tree of life, and it really wants to come back next time, um, and and have a better start, because. Because the soul had a had a tough start, but they made a very good go of it, they said. And so to actually kind of just have it like lights out, it was like in the past, it was like, and then they'd like wake up and be like, what happened? And then they review and be like, oh, that sucks. But this time it's almost like, I almost see like a video game and then like unplugging the console and it's like, Shoom. and then waking up and then reviewing the life and being like, that's just so wrong. Because it was wrong. It really wasn't time. And so that's why I feel like there's just a lot of souls that are kind of coming into this reading. Like I'm picking up on a medium, I'm picking up on the family, I'm picking up on the soul, I'm picking up on 
lots of people. And it's interesting how they all kind of come together and they all play. But the main thing of this is helping a soul break out of a karmic loop and cycle um, because they did the work this lifetime. They did the soul work on their own and and now it's almost like I see a community of everyone helping them raise up and and evolve this time because it's almost like a secret mission for this soul. I feel like all the spirit and everything has this soul's back as well because they're like it, it wasn't fair. It wasn't just. And and so I don't know. I just kind of see a lot of realms coming together and working together. And the spiritual realm seems to be a big key player in this. The physical realm, the spiritual realm, we've got so many souls, destinies intertwining in this story. And, and I do feel like justice will happen. And I hear peace will prevail. I will go back to how it was before. I feel like before, and, and obviously you can't when you have a past of a loved one, right? Like it's not gonna go back to exactly how it was before, but I feel like that soul will finally have peace. And as I said, the medium will have peace of mind, the family member will have peace of heart. And, and the reincarnation process starts again, right? Here's the tree of souls. That's the Akashic records and it's like, souls come and then they they're born souls come souls go which one was wanting to come out this one it says returning home which is this one which is spiritual evolution and setting your heart free this one says transition life between lifetimes a loving welcome And so for now, I feel like that's 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 where the soul's going. The soul's going back to transition, going back to the start, and like it gets to write a whole new whole new lesson, life plan lesson now. And then once that kind of happens, right, it returns home, the life between lifetimes, and then and then next time it's going to be reintroduced. And then when this soul is born the next time, uh, they've just defeated or worked through a, to a whole karmic cycle. It's free. It's free to enjoy the next lifetime. So I don't know if there's much more to share. I feel like I could talk a lot more, but that's the main gist of it all. I see. Well, that's the main goal. It's almost like I always say when it, I always feel like when people pass that it's not, I almost had a near death experience and I have like, I can feel past over loved ones. So for me, it doesn't really make me sad. It makes me happy to know that energy is never created nor destroyed. It just transitioned to a different frequency that it's hard for us to interpret. But um, in this one, and I would say it's sad for the people who are left over, right? We're the ones that have broken hearts. We're the ones that have to deal with it all. But in this case, it's almost like I see all the living ones kind of still going and and helping this, this soul heal on the other side. Um, so I always felt like when someone passes that all the love and directions kind of pass to the loved ones. But in this one, I see it in a different flow state, going to the soul because this soul, it worked really hard this lifetime. Like every family member and community, that's why it's like whoever this one is, that's like a fake friend. Like, I don't know, they did them dirty because I feel like this this soul was there for them all the time. Um, yeah. And so it's like this, this soul celebration of like the living still honoring this soul. And it's like, I don't know, it's just like a cool energy the other way. I always see it as like the, the past that were loved ones always like pouring love to us and supporting us. But this one's like still supporting that soul and that soul getting like that. Ah, you know, it's like, I kind of see them being like, all I ever wanted was to be like acknowledged or celebrated or told that I did a good job. But it seems like they had such a, a chip or hard time that even in the moments that they should have celebrated, it was like, were worried. 
And then, and then like in this, by doing this and ending this karmic cycle, this karmic loop is like the ultimate soul party for this soul. Like I see like, they may not have gotten that huge celebration and praise here, but on the astral realm and like lifetimes on lifetimes of souls that have helped this soul try and grow through it, it's, it's going to celebrate it. And whoever this reading is for, it's like your key player in this as well. Like your soul's over there celebrating with them as well. So interesting read. <laughs> Anyways, we'll leave it there. Um, I hope you have a good day and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye guys.